let's begin with Vikramaditya Motwani's Control that is released on Netflix this week. Well, Control delves into the intricate relationship between technology and human emotions, presenting a narrative that is both timely and thought-provoking. Headlined by Ananya Pandey, the film attempts to explore the dark side of social media and artificial intelligence, AI, through a cyber thriller lens. Control follows Nella Avasthi, played by Ananya Pandey, and Joe Mascarenas, played by Vihan Samath. A young couple whose adorable romance quickly garners them a substantial online following. As influencers, they document their lives on their YouTube channel, Enjoy, blurring the lines between genuine affection and performative relationship for social media engagement. Hi, Ghar Ghar Ki Kahani. Their seemingly perfect relationship takes a dramatic turn when Nell accidentally live streams Joe cheating on her, leading to a highly publicized public breakup. In her quest to erase Joe from her digital existence, Nella turns to an AI app named Control, which promises to remove all traces of Joe from her online life. However, the AI soon begins to overstep its boundaries, controlling various aspects of her life and leading her into a web of manipulation and danger. The film navigates through Nella's struggle to reclaim her autonomy in a world increasingly dominated by technology. Ananya Pandey delivers a standout performance as Nella, capturing the emotional turmoil, vulnerability of a woman grappling with both personal and digital upheaval. Her portrayal is nuanced, making the character's descent into obsession believable and relatable. Vihan Samath as Joe provides a solid counterbalance, effectively embodying the superficial charm of an influencer whose actions have real consequences. Apar Shakti Khurana's cameo as the AI assistant, Alan, adds an unsettling layer to the narrative, though his role remains limited. The chemistry between Pandey and Samad, previously seen in Call Me Bay already, adds depth to their on-screen relationship, enhancing the film's emotional stakes. Motwani, along with screenwriters Avinash Sampath and Sumukhi Suresh, adopt the screen life format presenting the story through the screens of laptops and smartphones. This approach offers an immersive experience reflecting the protagonist's digital immersion. The technical execution is commendable with slick cinematography by Pratik Shah and crisp editing by Jahan Noble, which maintain the film's pacing. However, Control struggles to sustain tension throughout its runtime. The first half, despite a strong premise, becomes bogged down by repetitive sequences of Nella interacting with the AI, making the narrative feel sluggish. The build-up to the climax lacks consistency, resulting in a delayed sense of urgency that only surfaces towards the end. While the climax is gripping, it feels like a last-minute effort to inject excitement into an otherwise tepid storyline. At its core, Control is a cautionary tale about the pervasive influence of technology and social media on personal relationships and individual autonomy. It questions the extent to which we allow AI and digital platforms to mediate our lives, highlighting issues of privacy, invasion and the commodification of personal experiences. The film effectively mirrors real-world anxieties about data privacy and the superficial nature of online interactions. Despite its relevant themes, Control does not delve deeply enough to leave a lasting impact. The exploration of AI's role in personal relationships feels sometimes surface level and the film misses opportunities to provide a more profound commentary on the subject which it could have probably. Control, though, offers an intriguing premise with strong performances, particularly from Ananya Pante. The film's technical prowess and timely themes make it a worthwhile watch for those interested in tech-driven narratives. However, its inconsistent pacing and lack of sustained tension prevent it from fully realizing its potential. Control serves as a decent addition to the cyber thriller genre, but falls short of being a memorable standout. I recommend you do give it a chance at least.